right, guys. I I know, I know. That trailer, that trailer slapped. It hit different, didn't it? It did. It hit different. You can you can admit it. It's fine. I'll admit it too. So here's the thing. Um, I wasn't planning on making any content for this game. <clears throat> the last looter shooter I played left me high and dry, and um, I still kind of have a bad taste in my mouth. Uh, that game was Anthem. It was it was a bittersweet journey. That was it ended all too fast. Um, but we're not here to talk about Anthem. We're not here to talk about Anthem. We're here to talk about the first Descendants. <sighs> this game looks like it could be fun. It looks like it could be a lot of fun. I'm actually very worried that it won't be. Or if it is, it won't be for long. Nexon Games is... <clears throat> I don't know their history as far as game development. I have heard that they are quite shitty when it comes to microtransactions, but I'm not 100% sure. I've just heard that from other content creators who have made video and content about this particular game and that company. Um, I didn't have time to really do research because I this is a spur of moment video. I'm literally like... I'm. I was just like, I want to do a video real quick. So, you know, here we are. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so um, I figured, why not? The game comes out tomorrow. We can watch the trailer, maybe look at a couple of the character trailers, too. And then, yeah. Um, so let's, let's get into some of those character trailers. All right, so here we are. We're going to start these trailers. There's, I think it's about six of them. They're only like a minute long piece, I think. Um, these are the only trailers that I could find that were released by Nexon and their first, the, the first um, Descendant uh, YouTube channel. So these are the trailers we're going to watch today. This isn't going to be a lengthy video. I really don't like making really long videos, but all right, let's, let's just get into it. Electricity doesn't just materialize out of thin air. Bunny plays by different rules, though. Are you ready to be shot? The speed of light allows Bunny to move faster and acquire more electricity. That's me if you can! She can also roam around the battlefield, electrocuting enemies and saving her friends. <laughs> Bunny's powerful electricity can deal massive damage to enemies. Is that an ultimate? That looks pretty cool. She can even summon an electro orb to give her enemies an electrocution effect. <laughs> when Bunny is charged with electricity and lands after a double jump, it's game over for everyone. Another day saved by me. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure a lot of people are gonna pick Bunny. Bunny is gonna Bunny is already a popular character. While Valby can be a deadly tsunami to her foes, she is as gentle as the morning tide to her beloved friends. Water playtime! <laughs> Valby can liquefy her body to move faster, creating a waterway that turns her enemies into mere laundry. She can also create big puddles, then jump out of her. This is like giving Splatoon vibes right now. Enemies. Which is not bad. It's it's pretty cool. With Valby's ability to manipulate water, she can also shoot bubble bullets and form small puddles. Hey, look at them yams, yo. Oh, God. <clears throat> Valby's weapon can also become the unique laundry bomb launcher. One laundry bomb launcher. That's crazy. Is in her hands. Don't forget, your MP will drop massively when using skills standing on water. Smooth like butter. Oh, she's cute. She's cute. I can see myself using her. Now introducing Ajax, the divine Ajax. Ajax Big man <clears throat> makes it out alive. He can even survive the void where real world physics don't apply. Huh. 
No one will die on my watch. I like his design. It's pretty With cool. With great charisma, Ajax specializes in protecting his teammates. His barrier ensures the safety of his friends while dealing damage and deflecting hostile attacks. You will not pass. With his sturdy head-to-toe armor, Ajax can push and oh, the pushback. Nice. He can also deal massive damage to surrounding enemies with Yeah, jump attacks. into a crowd of people and just hit him with that almighty push. I'm going in. Pretty sick. Without a doubt, Ajax is the ultimate leader as he protects his friends using void energy throughout battle. I will protect my team. <sighs> yeah, he's dope. He is dope. Glay. Glay says the easiest way to save your teammate is to take the enemy's <clears throat> life first. You have to take risks to protect what's yours. No one can stop me. Glay can go into a frenzied state by consuming her own HP. In the frenzied state, wow, that's cool. That's kind of like it reminds me of Devil May Cry. She deals massive damage to enemies and drains their life to recover her HP. I'll take it all away. Unleashing her latent anger subdues her enemies more quickly. When Glay takes out her specialized firearm, even the most powerful enemies are helpless against her. No mercy. Some criticize Glay for losing her sanity in battle, but when you see her absorb life force and grow stronger after defeating enemies, she appears more rational than anyone else. That was too easy. She seems interesting. I don't know if I play her, but she seems Vanessa interesting. Has the ability to freeze her opponents using humidity in the atmosphere. Oh, Elsa, you mean? Want to feel chill? <clears throat> When the chill energy stored in her special suit is released into the battlefield, it's no wonder Viesa is called a femme fatale. I remember I played as her Viesa in the beta. Multiple enemies around her by spreading chill she energy. wasn't bad. She was pretty fun and to play with. They are mere treats for her to feast on. I'll ice you all. Damn, you really ice her? Her boobies are out like that. Jeez. Is one of Viesa's favorite tricks to pull. Look at this deadly blizzard coming from Viesa's delicate hands. The blizzard will explode after a certain time, dealing massive damage. That's to pretty enemies. cool. You all freeze eventually. If you see an ice sphere floating around Viesa, it might be too late for you to run. The sphere will freeze everything it touches. This is the ultimate chill. Yeah, I'm going to need you to go ahead on and put a little bit more shirt on. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't hate it though, but I'm just saying. I'm trying, mm. <clears throat> trying to be a gentleman out here. It's hard. They say living on the edge is dangerous, but Lepic is alive and thriving while all his friends are six feet under, along with his right arm. She said that a little too casually, though. Like, really? All his friends are six feet under? Like, come on, bro. Lepic like, rules the battlefield with his powerful right arm and destructive grenades. You can't spell Lepic without Epic. His traction grenades attack multiple enemies. Once hit, bam, his foes are all pulled towards him. Commence bombardment. The pinnacle of technology, Lepic's prosthetic arm can turn into a shell shooting launcher, dealing continuous damage. I think he has an ultimate skin too, if I'm not mistaken. Him and Bunny has one. Increases to the max. We saw bunnies in the trailer, the all white. Let's get this party started. Lepic is one lucky bastard. Despite taking heavy damage in battle, he always gets away with a close call. Oh, the passive. Okay. So that is all of the character trailers there are supposed to be 14 characters on release tomorrow but right now this seems like they only have the six um pretty sure they're gonna just drop reveal trailers later but um yeah i don't know guys i'm excited about this game 
Um, but I'm also pretty skeptical. It seems like it's going to be a lot of fun, but who knows how long that fun lasts. Because these days, <sighs> games are just not what they used to be, man. But, um, yeah, it's a free game. So if anybody else that's seen this video and is not familiar with the first Descendant, um, it is a shared world looter shooter game, kind of like Warframe or Destiny. But, I mean, as you can see, it's not the same. Um, everyone, they have different characters, different abilities, different weapon types, classes, loot, all this cool stuff that drops. Of course, there's going to be microtransactions. That's where they're going to get their money from because the game's free. And whatever else they decide to make you pay for in the game, I'm totally planning on playing this for free. I'm not planning on spending any money. Because anytime I get invested in a game and I start putting money into it, I end up either losing interest or the game dies. So I'm not even going to bother. <laughs> but anyway, um, I think that's going to be it for me, guys. The game comes out tomorrow. Um, you can You are able to preload it. If you see this before it launches, you can preload it. So go to the Steam store and you can preload it there. And yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, let me know in the comments what do you guys think. If you have any high expectations, low expectations, what do you guys think about the game? And I'll catch you guys on the next one. If you uh, liked the video, I mean, you know, just drop me a subscribe or a like. You know, um, it's not necessary, but it is very appreciated. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.